This week on Test Drive, we've got something just a little different. It's not an ATV, and it's not even meant for off-road riding. But Can-Am Spider Roadster is a cool piece of technology. Since we're all motorheads anyway, we figured you'd get as big a kick out of learning about the Spider as we did testing it. While the Spider is fun for all ages, its target demographic is slightly older than Luke. And while I've had a blast on this thing and would buy one in a second if I could, I thought it was important to have some more demographically appropriate opinions included. So today, Mark and I are going to attempt to give you fully rounded coverage from both perspectives. For those of you who are unaware, the Spider is Can-Am's three-wheeled on-road vehicle. They call it a Roadster, and I think the name really fits. It's not a traditional trike because it only has one wheel in the back and two wheels up front. It's powered by a fuel-injected 990cc Rotax V-Twin with dual overhead cams and four valves per cylinder. Fed by dual 57mm throttle bodies, it puts out 106 claimed horsepower and delivers the power through a 5-speed manual transmission with reverse. This engine has more than enough jam to spin the back tire anytime you want, and if it weren't for the advanced traction control system, all you need to do is that too much to get sideways. Low-end grunt is amazing. Power delivery is most impressive above 3,000 RPM, but it doesn't redline until 9,000 at which point you're really moving in any gear. The Spider's traction control system keeps you rubber side down and stops you from losing control. Combined with a stability control system that breaks each wheel individually when needed, it's almost impossible to get it a shape on this thing. Now, Can-Am knew power corrupts, and even the most responsible adult would eventually want to try and lay some rubber. So they programmed the traction control to kick in only above 50 kilometers an hour. So if you do decide to let your inhibitions go, you can. On top of traction and stability control, Can-Am has also included a vehicle stability system, anti-lock braking system, and rollover management system. Basically, if you wanted to try and flip or spin this thing, I doubt you could. Visually, the Spider gets mixed reviews, but since visual appeal is completely subjective, it doesn't really matter what anyone else thinks. We think it looks weird, and we love it. Judging by the stares and reactions we get wherever we ride the Spider, it seems like most people are, at the very least, really intrigued by the way it looks. Love it or hate it, I can tell you one thing for sure. You wouldn't get more people looking at you if you rode up stark naked. But don't do that, because that's a bad idea. Can-Am's tagline for their ATVs is, the ride says it all. And when it comes to the Spider, this is also very true. You need to sit on it to understand how comfortable it is, and you need to ride this vehicle to appreciate its performance and its capabilities. The first thing I noticed about this thing when I climbed aboard the first time was how comfortable the seating position is. You don't feel like you're leaning too far forward to be comfortable all day. And you don't feel like you have to hold yourself up at low speeds or hold on too tight at high speeds. Our unit had an optional low windshield, which I felt provided excellent wind protection. Even upwards of 80 miles an hour, I didn't feel like I was being pushed off the back of the bike. I didn't feel any buffeting on my helmet either. In the twisties, the Spider requires more body English than a typical street bike. And if you're a sport bike rider, you're probably not gonna get that excited about the way it handles. But I'm thinking right now, if you're an ATVer like I am, you're gonna love this thing. Also, if you like long distances, this is the ride for you. Power steering makes carving wider corners easy and fun. Long distance cruising is comfortable because of the excellent ergonomics and perfectly tuned suspension. As well, the large trunk up front means you won't need saddlebags. Acceleration is wicked and braking is even better. Because of all the electronic control systems, you can literally just jump on the brakes without the fear of anything bad happening. Our only complaint is that there's no right-hand brake lever, there's only a pedal. For anyone who's ridden a motorcycle of any kind, this is both confusing and annoying. Other than this, though, there's nothing really that takes away from the pleasure of the ride. The more I ride this thing, the more I like it. My wife likes it because she thinks it's safe. I like it because it's cool and it's fast. This is not a motorcycle, though, so don't expect that kind of ride. This is a whole new experience. And whether you're young or old, er, it's one we think you're going to love. 